Government continues dredging of seven canals to divert flood water. Construction of two kilometer long canal to divert flood water into Chinwin River in the pipeline. BJP Manipur Pradesh refutes Congress party's allegations over Rafale aircraft deal. Party mocks scandals of Congress can be written into a book. And Chief Minister Nong Thong Mambirin says public abuse of people's representatives will not be tolerated, reiterates public leaders have equal rights like any citizen. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Rusham with the top stories and latest, latest news at this hour. Chief Minister Nong Thumbambirin has announced to construct a 2 km long and 150 feet wide canal to enable proper diversion of flood water to Chinwin River. He said excess water from the confluence of Manipur River and Chakpi River could not be properly drained away to Chinwin River due to siltation at Sugnu Hump. Biren also said that digging and dredging of seven canals to divert flood water from Imphal River to Loktak Lake have started to check frequent breaching of river banks during rainy season. He was speaking to media at Paubak Chow in Imphal West District on the sidelines of the inspection of the ongoing construction of these canals today. The Chief Minister further said that in order to check frequent breaching of major rivers, the state government has dredged parts of Imphal, Iril and Kongba rivers. He mentioned that culverts located at the head of these canals were found to be too narrow to drain away water from the river to the lake. Hence, the government decided to dig these seven canals apart from replacing the existing culverts by three meter wide ring culverts. He also mentioned that government is willing to take up a fresh project for dredging and widening of Waisel Maril and appeals to illegal encroachers on both sides of the stream to voluntarily evict themselves. The team comprising of MLAs K. Robindro, H. Dingo, T. H. Satya Brata, L. Rameshwar and Project Director of Loktak Development Authority L. Bhagaton, led by Chief Minister N. Biren, inspected five canals today including Hayel Tongrambi Canal in Uchiva and Lamboy Khong Canal in Bhaubak Chao. Manipuri Virga, Shakpi Gi, Tainari Ba Jaga Se. Masi Ji, Chinwin River Da Taagi Da Basi, Koi Sarbe Ta Hole Me Aap Nungroi Le Re. Mata phungkat laga chinni wini vertis da chen tha bangam da dana. Loi na siltation tau lai ram. Ano hai riba jaga jita kilometer ani mo ki jaga ama. Putra ma ga yang khai mo paak na. Tok thok pa ma sang ba. Adu IFCD da koi na estimate seman ba ka anda. Kuro nipan ko ma sang ga da ba. Adu IFCD na ta vida koi na uzi LDA ki na hana i sarbe at haro re. Madu ki jaga adu ma ga kilometer ani mo ki si. Masonary ma nga taru. Koi ya chok ba masonji tha da raga. Tha mo ki sang ni. Madu mungkin suruh apa, aduk esok ini, mafam tadi esok mungkin loh selgak kalbar sih ke selgak di, laka tu apa, sini show, ahing aman orang tarah itu thumbi kai bido, madu mungkin tu orang Manipuri berga. BJP Manipur Pradesh has refuted the allegations of corruption made by Congress on BJP in connection with Rafale aircraft deal. Speaking to media at BJP Manipur Pradesh temporary office in Kanchipur today, party spokesperson C.H. Bijoy negated the statements made by General Secretary of All India Congress Committee, AICC, Gaurav Gogoi, in his recent state visit. Bijoy maintained that Congress party is trying to cover up one lie with 100 lies. The BJP spokesperson blames the Congress party of trying to malign the scandal-free Prime Minister Narendra Modi led BJP government out of jealousy. On the other hand, Bijoy alleged the Congress of being involved in various scandals worth over 70,000 crore rupees, starting from the purchase of India's submarine to the purchase of 320 air passenger plates. He mocked that a book can be written on all the scandals of the Congress party. The BJP spokesperson also mentioned that specifications about Rafale aircraft deal cannot be disclosed for security reasons as enemies can take advantage out of it. He also reminded that the Supreme Court had earlier rejected the PIL filed by Congress party regarding the aircraft deal as unreasonable and that the Apex Court had maintained that there is no flaw in the deal. Plane sih kita pun nari hai tarah. Masih lagi maman sih dia hai dok pas cungga ya dia bo. Plane sih dia kari kari khulai pun yesi. Yang lepas country nak khang kita tarah di plane sih kita sakti magun sih yang wah dia bo. Kau ina plane sih kita pun nari kita matang dah hanjan hanjan hang matagi 
गोरमेन हंजन हंजन लोट यादन लोटे हाइदू यादव पोट बदनाम तौसलग मैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट पी आई एल अहम था सुप्रीम कोर्ट से गोरमेन शेयर तौद्री हाजर कनाम शेयर तब यही सिल इनवेलप पीओ पीर पीरक फजना स्टडी तौर स्टडी तौर का सुप्रीम कोर्ट असोब यौरमद्रे थादरप से कंग्रेस मचिन थीरी सुप्रीम कोर्ट सर्टिफिकेट पीब चाहिए Chief Minister Nong Thung Mun Birin has stated that the Indian Constitution does not permit anyone to shame another in the public. He has said that even public leaders are given the same rights like other citizens by the Constitution. He was speaking in the 29th North East Obstetric and Gynecological Society's conference organized by Imphal Obstetric and Gynecological Society at Jenims Auditorium in Porampat today. Chief Minister N Birin stated that the right to freedom of speech and expression given in Article 19 Clause 1 of the Indian Constitution can be curbed on moral and decency ground as per Article 19 Clause 2. The Chief Minister maintained that public abuse of a public representative will not be tolerated at any cost. He reiterated that even a public leader has equal rights as that of a normal citizen. Chief Minister Birin maintained that any objections can be raised legally. He said that even chief ministers were put in jail when found guilty. In our society, what I am feeling bait. If I am a common people, it seems that I can say anything to those who are in the power. No, those who are in the power are also human beings. We are born to serve the peoples. We came to this profession. to serve the peoples we are not here to take your abusive words if something has done wrong from our side court is there are chief minister pakad ke rakha hai bhai jail mein baitha hua hai doctor jail mein baitha hua hai you can do but you don't have a right to abuse anybody there is rules of law in this state so we should respect it article 19 one seat freedom of expression freedom of press article 19 clause two seat decency and the morality is in 19 you cannot receive only to the 19 one you sometime come down to the 19 two morality and the decency Speaking further in the event, Chief Minister Nong Thung Mun Birin reminded that many incidents of vandalizing of hospital properties have occurred in the state following arguments between doctors and patient parties, and doctors were even assaulted on many occasions. He said the government has passed a bill against mob violence in the recent winter assembly session and will be executed soon. He appreciated the doctors in the state for the declining mortality rate of pregnant women, mothers, and children in the state. Biden maintained that people of the state, especially BPL families, are now provided various health benefits under various schemes of the BJP-led government, including Chief Minister Gi Hakshel Gi Tengbang scheme. He also mentioned about the benefits provided under Centre's PMJAY scheme. He also said over 19 transit homes are being constructed in remote areas of the state with an aim to synchronize health care system and developmental works of the state. president of federation of Gyno- gynecology society india dr jaydeep malhotra rims director professor a shanta jenims director professor th bhimo and doctors from various parts of india attended the event senior gynecologists of the state were presented with gifts on the occasion federation of gynecologists society india also honored five selected doctors of the north east the conference will continue till december 23 We have started construction of transit in various part of the district on the hills, including valleys, where the doctors and the teacher can stay there. Earlier, there was no quarters where to stay. That was a very uh, burning issues in 19 areas, including the far-flung hills areas. We have started construction of this transit residential buildings, and within one years, I think it 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 would be. When something goes wrong, like mob lynchings, beating of doctors, destroying of properties, it is happening. But we have passed a bill against the mob lynching violence. As early as possible, rule will be framed and it will be implemented. Old Manipur Government Aided Teachers Association today took out a protest rally demanding not to withdraw DPC and to release their 2010 ROP at the earliest. The protest rally was taken out from Narendra Thong Lashram 
Lekai Community Hall toward the Education S Department. However, security personnel halted the protesters and later allowed few representatives of the association to meet the Director of Education S Department. The Director assured to fulfill their demands without further delay. Speaking to media, Assistant Secretary of the Association S Amucho appeals to give ROP 2010 based on 6th Pay Commission. He further demanded to know why the DPC notification of De December 17 issued by the Education S Department for filling up the 300 post to replace aided retired teachers was revoked. Manipur ki employee department lairi me amde loi pithok re akoi ki all Manipur ki adhya chhe aso sanjay mas sida lairi bo oza singh sida unda ti ojek sis pejo sibo pividri ba adu akoi na mamang da minister de du sam minister da memory dam pisan jag re adu hoji bo da madu ki result je akoi phangdri timandi am tok jare loi na loi na na hoji hoji akoi na DPC tang tara tare ta ki ho guna na schedule je lep na school je ready da loi na oza ki lairi adu ga di Cancel tower no order among talk to I don't know what I mean. The Kangam does not take the same thing. Kari Leo no Kari Sobley no Hybrid Dimalanis. Lilong Kendra Development Forum has launched a mission for developing Lilong constituency today. Speaking to media, Forum Publicity Secretary T. H. Raza said the forum will apprise the government on the deplorable condition of 60 areas of the constituency. Raza appeals residents of Lilong to cooperate in the forum's endeavor. He maintained that the forum was formed by youths of youths are genuinely interested in up uplifting the area and has no political affiliations. After the mission launched at Lilong Haurebi Makalekai, forum members in Expected the condition of road facility for drinking water and the condition of primary center in the colony and also interacted with the residents. Lilong <laughs> ACC role model mahai gadra Lilong ACC system se ato pa kendra nasu tam seno ba ato pa kendra nasu phibam phata ba maya mama lady hai di ba phibam sing se akoi Lilong nasu sumai ntau ki eh moi di sumai lupa ma sema ga sumai na akoi ki develop tau kre hai raga akoi su tau seno ga hai ba ki maya mama apaba message pi na ba ki makal hai di upo se akoi sir si ki matang da akoi ban tau roi hingsa tau roi dharna phamoi rally chaloi akoi lady ba soi maya mama sing se gamen da thindu na takpa Luna, Gamena told Dragon Logi Kutanga, I and Gikutanga, told the Sikarino Hiba Authority the Chatkane. District Administration Bishnapur organized a selfie contest for girl child and the parents of the district under Betty Bachao Betty Parao scheme today. The event was held at Assistant Commissioner Office of Bishnapur District. Speaking to media, Assistant Commissioner Bishnapur Linda Ngangom said that the selfie contest will carry on till December 27. She appeals to submit the selfies via FB page, email and WhatsApp account provided by the administration. Christmas gifts were presented to recently elected nominee member of Autonomous District Council ADC Chandel, Langham Tarao and Artisans of Tarao sponsored by Chairman and Managing Director of Salai Holdings Private Limited, Narengbam Samarjit today. The ceremony was held at Pongna Pham Lamdam Chingtam Vocational Training Center in Cairo Thongju Part 2. Chairman of the Center and Salai Advisor Dr. Thokchom Chandramani and Chief Advisor of Linguist and Observation Committee on United Nations Day 2018 Thokchom Pramo were also present on the occasion. Thousands of people attended the Poinu Thanil Pawoibi Pauko Lol Thauni Irat, jointly organized by Ima Laishem Inat Loisheng and Nongpok Chingu Thong Semgat Sagatpa Punba Luk today. The annual ceremony performed on the full day full moon day of Poinu was held at Nongpok Chingu Thong Mite Lekol Seloi Lengmai Ching Thalo CP Log in Imphal East. People coming from across the state offered their first harvest of paddy and other crops to Paugi Lairimbi Pawoibi and Lairimba Akong Jamba and prayed for prosperity and abundant food until next year. A grand feast was shared by cooking the offered food items at the event. Committee on Human Rights Manipur in a press release strongly condemns the killing of Muhammad Abdul Ghaffar Elias Sayyid after he was picked up from his residence at Ushoi Popi Makatharo Lekai in the wee hours of December 20 by a combined force of 26 Assam Rifles and Thawal Commando. The committee extended full support to all the undertakings of the JSC formed against the incident. 
Now moving ahead, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the concluding day of a month-long skills development training on post-harvest technology and processing of fruits. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. The one month long skills development training on post harvest technology and processing of fruits, jointly organized by Biotech Park Lucknow and Institutional Advanced Level Biotech Hub Imphal College, concluded today. Speaking in the event, MLA Nauria Pakhanglakpa constituency, Soibam Subhas Chandra stated that one should not merely wait for government jobs. He said that a skilled person can avail the benefits of various government schemes to earn a livelihood. He appreciated the students of Imphal College for conducting the training program. Many eminent persons attended the event. The two-day farmers uh, training organized by Long Mi Shin Miyapun Balub Ning Thao Kong with an aim to generate income by mushroom cultivation concluded today. Around 200 mushroom farmers attended the training. Speaking in the event, Deputy Director Research of Central Agriculture University, Dr. T.H. Robindro, appeals to farmers not to burn and waste haze which are useful in mushroom cultivation. Yambem Young Pioneer Club and Yambem Naharol Maruk jointly organized a one-day free medical camp at Yaripok Yambem Lai Lampag in Imphal East District today. Around 500 individuals were checked up and free medicines were also provided at the camp. Tulihal Battalion of Nine Sector Assam Rifles organized an educational tour for the students of Azad English School Maitram at the leading media houses of Manipur. Students visited the printing press of Sangai Express and Impact TV during the trip. The students were exposed on news making and production in both the electronic and print media. The educational trip not only inspired and encouraged students to take up journalism but also gave them an insight on how media functions. A team of 10 Sector 17 Assam Rifles, uh, Yangang Pok Peoples, led by its major, She Mamgain, distributed 30 solar lamps, 4 computer sets and 1 printer to the residents of Wungon village in Imphal East District under its civil action project operation, Sadbhavana. Village chief and youths of the village were present on the occasion. Now the sports news. Defending champion Minerva Punjab FC and last year's runners-up Neroka FC will lock horns in the match of the ongoing 12th edition Hero I League 2018-19 at Kuman Lampak Main Stadium at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Speaking to media in a pre-match press meet held at Hotel Classic Grand today, coaches and players of both the teams expressed that the match will not be an easy one and both the teams are ready to give their best shots. Head coach of Minerva Punjab FC, Paul Munster said his team is all set for tomorrow's match after the recent defeat in the hands of Mohan Bagan. Head coach of Neroka FC, Manuel Ritamero Frail said that his team's recent three successive wins have boosted the team spirit which will be exhibited in tomorrow's match. We play better away games. So we're expecting a better performance and uh, more chances on goals and goals. So we're expecting a big performance for the players for, for tomorrow. Try and prepare as much as we can. We've watched a few videos, some games of them. So we've been looking at their strengths and their, their weaknesses. So we'll go according to that and then we'll have a plan for tomorrow's game. From the beginning, from the first day, is, is to find our, uh, our way. Uh, what I want uh, from our style, no, not just my style because maybe I don't have the players that I need you know the most important is to find that uh, we are working properly now we are on the on the way and and we must keep that and that is the most important 
check the op opposite team is important too, but the most important is to keep our level. Klasa Kaino and Aim Kabam Lamkai were drawn 1 1 in the match of the ongoing 12th Manipur State League. In the 61st league match played today, player of Klasa Kaino, Kangam Horam, scored one goal at the 26th minute, while player of Aim Kabam Lamkai, as Dinesh, scored one goal for at the 90th minute. Players of Klasa Kaino, M. Aboy and Dhananjoy, K. Pravin, and players of M. Kabam Lamkai, as Dinesh and L. Monish, were given yellow cards during the match. 12 football clubs are participating in the state league organized by All Manipur Football Association and sponsored by Kumukcha Mingocha Memorial Trust at Imphal Polo Ground. In tomorrow's match, uh, tomorrow's 62nd league match, Muvanlai Athletics Sada Hills will play against Sagolban United FC. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Government starts dredging of seven canals to divert flood water. Construction of two kilometer long canal to divert flood water into Chenwen River in the pipeline. BJP Manipur Pradesh refutes Congress party's allegations over Rafale aircraft deal. Party mocks. Scandals of Congress can be written into a book. And Chief Minister Nong Thong Biren says public abuse of people's representatives will not be tolerated. Reiterate public leaders have equal rights like any citizen.